Hello, hello, good afternoon, welcome. My name is Kate. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Today I'd like to do a reading on Scott Hayes. Is that his name? Scott Patrick Hayes. He is, I'm going to read the obituary to you guys so we're all on the same page. Massachusetts State Police Sergeant Scott Patrick Hayes of Reading passed away unexpectedly on Saturday, September 14th. Born on Saturday, November 29th. Okay, we've got that. This is sad. Okay, he's a fire sign. Okay. So, born on November 29, 1980, in Cambridge, Scott is the loving son of George Hayes and Alice, George and Alice are his parents. Scott is a warm, kind, loyal son, brother, husband, father, son-in-law, brother-in-law, uncle, and friend who will be deeply missed. Scott grew up in Somerville and attended St. Agnes, uh, Agnes School in Arlington Catholic High School. Upon graduation, he went to Suffolk. University, he got his bachelor's degree in criminal justice. He began his career in law enforcement by working at Simmons, Simmons University, Beth Israel Hospital, and MIT before being accepted into the Massachusetts State Police in 2011. He completed the Mass State Patrol Police Academy with the 80th Recruit Training Troop. Scott was trained at the Danvers State Police Barracks. This is where he established his long-standing friendship with his fellow troopers. While stationed in Danvers, Scott was assigned to the motorcycle unit. In 2023, he was promoted to sergeant and he worked at the Carlton and Holden barracks before being transferred to the Medford barracks. Scott met the love of his life, Gina, in 2011. They met over their love of dogs and became inseparable. They were engaged in 2014 and got married in 2016 or 2016. Together, they purchased their family home in Reading with their first German Shepherd, Trigger. This is like so cliche. Um, in 2017, they welcomed their first child, Brayden, with his sister, Lily, following shortly after in 2018. Fatherhood was Scott's passion. Nothing made him happier than being with his children. He loved coaching, Braden, and baseball, and being a dance dad. He was proud to be able to travel with his family, going to Texas, Arizona, and with his in-laws to Disney. He lived out one of his dreams by being able to ride his motorcycle in the Grand Canyon. A history buff and a proud American, Scott loved... Oh, I like this. This is my favorite part so far. A history buff and a proud American, Scott loved reading about World War II, the ancient ruins, and the pyramids in Egypt, all while sipping on a glass of bourbon. He will be eternally remembered for his smile, his laugh, his wittiness, and his willingness to help anyone at any time. His be he is the beloved husband of Gina. He is the devoted father, a cherished brother. Visiting hours. Okay. So the reason that I want to do a reading on Scott Hayes is because there were rumors. I'll put that obituary on the Facebook page. There were rumors that he was with our friend Enrique. Or wait. Why am I forgetting? Yeah, it is Enrique. I remember because of engaged <laughs> Enrique, you know. So November 29. He's Zodiac. I'm just going to double check myself. Yep, Sag. Okay. So there was a rumor, probably on the TikTok streets or somewhere, that he was there when Enrique was murdered. And I have questions because allegedly, one thing it didn't say in that obituary, but I have seen it, and I've been saying this, is he didn't die of a vaccination or a heart attack. The fact that they have to put that on there, I've been saying that for a while, but 
I allegedly self-deleted. So please hold while I plug in the top so the the top can see. BRB. All right, the balcony is on, and we're ready to read on Scott Hayes. He is the Massachusetts State Patrol officer who. Him, I mean, he self-deleted this weekend, allegedly. I That's just, oh, and this is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. There are no facts here. Please do your own research. Everyone has Google. I am not presenting this as fact, obviously. I'm a chick with a tarot deck. So don't come for me. But with that being said, allegedly he self-deleted this weekend. And the word on the street. I don't know if it was TikTok or YouTube. I don't know where I saw it, but he uh, was where or at the training camp that Enrique was murdered at. And although he self deleted on a spiritual, I know that the Catholics say a lot of things, and I grew up very Catholic. And I also, someone made a comment like they're proud military like family members mine too my facebook page has the picture of my grandpa in world war ii when he was a gunner so he's a patriot and that's nice but on a soul level whatever he was running away from whether he knew too much he was directly involved that means he gets to come back and do it all over again until he learns whatever lesson it is so when you self-delete you just prolong the inevitable so if you're in a spot that you're feeling like things are horrible, well, call me and I'll help you. I do do that. I'll get, I help a lot of people with that, but it's bigger. You're, you're in a box, so I'll help you. Or call anyone. Call the suicide hotline. The point of this entire thing is it's very curious to me that he, and I know that people say this is, that's coward way out. I have no opinion on it at all. I feel like whatever, so my point is, I think you got the memo of how much trouble is coming for this group of man children that never have been held accountable in their life, probably got away with everything. And he, I think he saw the writing on the wall. Why else would you do that? Well, this is all allegedly just my opinion on that one. I, and I don't know. And the picture of him with his wife, they look like a couple I would have been friends with or she definitely, you know, they look just like normal couple. If anyone knows more of the details, though, let your girl know. I'd love, well, just because I'm curious about his connection to Enrique, Enrique Delgado, Gar Delgado Garcia. I'd, I heard um, Melan attorney Melanie saying to keep saying his name. I love saying his name. I think it's beautiful. So what is this kid? Let's, if he just died this weekend, it's still too soon. I can't tap into him, but I can tap into the energy around him. Okay. No, I can't. I will tap into the car. Okay. I can tap into the police cruiser. Did he die in his police cruiser or something? Um, so that's as close as I can get. It's too soon still for me to tap into him, but I can tap into the cruiser. So let's see what the cruiser wants to tell us. Mm -hmm. I just got weird. All right. Oh, well, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, okay. Let me make sure. Oh, my little bell is over here. I have it on the wrong side. It feels weird on the left. So, oh boy. Oh, man. You guys are going to recognize all of these cards. Hmm. Gotta be kidding me. There's no naked and afraid here. Oh boy. 
So you know how I have been mentioning the $150 billion industry that's like the world's worst secret, worst kept secret. It's like in our faces. Well, I've been talking about it since we started doing this readings, these readings. And Puffy, P. Diddy, whatever we're calling him, got uh, snared up, you know. He's about to take the hit for probably everyone, for you. But I had said that there are houses, I, well, there are probably trap houses on the outside, but I think that's where they were moving people. And I've even mentioned like 34 Fairview. Well, the fact that Diddy just got arrested and one of the key players in this trash was on a TV show. Does that mean that his connection to perhaps the Wahlbergs, no shade, the Wahlbergs, um, is he going to get caught up in that? God, that would be awesome. All right. Well, the energy of the car, of his patrol car, is what I, I don't care about his regular car. Or I guess I have just said it generally. Looks like a dead little boy. The end. There's a straight up death. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, two times in a row. Well, two times in like three or five readings. I don't remember how many. We have the two, there's only two circles in the tarot. One is the world, that's an end, completion. It could be the end of a cycle. When you're doing a regular reading, it's like perhaps college is coming to an end, perhaps marriage is coming to an end, whatever that looks like. We have a ton of endings and beginnings, hopefully. And we also have the Wheel of Fortune. This is also an end. Well, it's a circle. It's a completion. So you can spin the wheel. And we have an end. And we have our dead little boy. What's in his car? Is there evidence in his car? And this is death. The other question that I have about the autopsy pictures that Sean had on his channel the other night. Now it's been about a week where he was with Nurse Kim, it looks like someone grabbed him. Look at the black and white of John O'Keefe's uh, autopsy, and he has those same marks, I'm pretty sure. It's hard to tell because it's like a black and white of picture of a picture of a picture, but that's what I think. So, well, this um, energy in the car, straight up murder. I mean, here's our death. Here's our dead little boy. Here's the end. Here's naked and afraid, but she's not afraid. I think she, I don't know if she's too dumb to be afraid or she's too cocky, too narcissistic, allegedly. I don't know. Sociopathic. This is the archetype of Jen McCabe. No facts here. Do your own research. Don't come from uh, this is concerning because if Sandra's on here, okay, hold on, hold on, the emperor, let me just pull, okay, well, he worked for the dark side, oh, <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised if San if the all roads lead back to Birchmore, okay, how are we doing on time, so. The energy around the car is the dark side and dead little boy. <laughs> judgment. Who's our judgment? Scorpio. I know we don't have Scorpios. Did I mention that in here? There's a birthday um, spreadsheet. If you see anything, please throw it in there. The link is in the bio for all the key players in this saga. Because I appreciate everyone sending them to me, but I'm there's a disconnect between me like looking at it, getting it on the list. So I just made us a spreadsheet. And well, I mean, this kid's hands aren't clean, and so I mean, now we have 
he'd like to walk away from what no longer serves him. He had the weight of the world on his back. He was offered something. I'll give you a guess. Starts with money. And he was hanging around because he would like, it's all smoke and mirrors. He knew it. Oh, he probably knew heads were going to roll for this because there's a strong, powerful woman with the archetype of John O'Keefe's mom. Literally, I know that she's a sword. She's an air sign, isn't she? Or she fire. Peggy is April, so she's wand. Um, well, here's the wands right here. Oh, and here's our fool. Hmm. I would call this premeditated. Our little fool is running in. Blind. He's like blind to the slaughterhouse that he's about to walk into. Here's our fire sign. That could be Jen McCabe or Peggy. Peggy. <laughs> Does your family know? Was that a milkman? Well, and then we have... Uh, strong two feminines and this is smoke and mirrors what you see is not what you get this is also uh where angels fear to tread i mean he's dark side of course the angels don't fear anything i'll tell you that but you have to pray in order to enact him he's a spoiled brat he's i've said this a hundred million times the universe is trying to offer him cups this little cloud is offering him cups and he's just sitting there oh in Idaho case, this also is representative of the cloud. Oh, I bet he's filmed it or something. Well, his judgment day is coming a little sooner than he expected, apparently, because he wanted to walk away from what no longer served him. And that's what happens when you work for the dark side. It, he always comes to collect. And so the energy around the car is murder. Whether he, like, this guy, what's his name again? Scott. Whether Scott Hayes had something on his cell phone, he saw the writing on the wall, he accepted a bribe. Perhaps there's, like, evidence in his car. I don't know what car it is, if it's his patrol car or... Well, they don't even care. You can get drunk lose your gun and drive your Massachusetts state patrol car and you don't even get a slap on the wrist. You're morally bankrupt. Mass patrol is hiring until they change it, which they're not doing any. Well, perhaps, I don't know. So yeah, this guy, this is little Enrique running in blindly excited. I'm going to say that this was, he was set up just like John. He knew too much, and I'm not. I'm surprised that Sandra's not here. I know I talk about Ashley every single day. Please check her out. She's over at the Reckoning, and I love her. She has these whispers of the unsolved. I feel like all roads lead back to Birchmore. This was an orchestrated event, pre-planned. The main characters that we have here are the puppeteers. I can't even say allegedly puppeteers. She, I thought it, you know, they're royalty in their own mind. Oh, it's called. No kidding. Oh, and there's some perversion. What else is on his own? DNA. This card has caused some confusion for me because. John's DNA was on something. That's what I kept getting. Then I was meditating or something, and the idea of familial DNA come up, came up. So then we just did a reading to figure out if Paul and John were even brothers. <laughs> is, his, is this kid Scott's DNA on Enrique? We don't even know, probably. They probably trashed the whole thing. Oh, he's in a struggle. Hmm. Yeah, it would be too. He's super low vibration. Oh, and we're on the right track. Yeah, we got it. Okay. 
<laughs> organized crime, you don't say. So Scott Hayes of the Massachusetts State Patrol. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I should ask if he really did unalive himself or did he get pushed down a flight of stairs or like Clinton style, he got like stab 20 uh, this is a different case but i've done a reading on it like the kin the clintons the one that remind or sticks out to me the most is like somebody hung themselves this is all a uh, suicided hung themselves and then shot themselves in the chest with a rifle and they rule it a suicide so that's actually actually what we should figure out is if he self-deleted or was self-deleted like did he unalive himself or did he get suicided like Jeffrey Epstein? Hmm. I'm going to do one more question because I want to know if Scott Healy did this to himself. Did Scott Healy do that to himself this weekend? All right. Well, that's good then. Okay. He did. All right, hold on. I want to ask it if Epstein did it to himself. Because I want to see if I'm asking the right question. Did Epstein do it to himself? Oh, this might be opening a can of worms. Negative. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're on the right. All right. So he did actually do that to himself. He didn't get pushed down a flight of stairs and Clinton style suicided. That was like, he did it. Well, I'm guessing that the investigators, probably our buddy, Josh Levy. Oh, if anyone can find his birthday, can you uh, put it in the spreadsheet? I'm sure he's already all over it, but there's evidence or something that kid had either in his car somewhere around him either the car there's definitely something on his phone probably a video it's <laughs> sarah boone style so with that i will love you and leave you thank you so much for coming if you have any questions let me know if you find any birthdays there's a spreadsheet with link in the bio if you'd like to book a reading link in the bio and i love you and that's it good night